What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to auto filter data, copy it and paste it to a new workbook. So let's get right into it. All right, so I've got some data on the right, list of countries and regions, and what we're gonna do is filter by region and then save a new that data that we filtered to a new workbook named after the region. All right, so let's go ahead and make a drop down list in this cell. So what I'm gonna do is copy all the regions and I'm going to paste them this to sheet 2. Then I'll go to the data tab and select remove duplicates. I'll do that. Remove these top two rows cuz I don't need them. So now I've got a list of all the regions. And I'll go back to this cell here, F2, and then do data validation, allow the list, and then I'm going to select my source which is on C2. So I highlight these. Oops. Press enter. Okay. So now I have my list. And then we can get rid of C2. We don't need that now. All right. So for the sub, let's call this sub copy data to new book and de declare our variables. So we've got um, our count columns. So we're going to be counting our columns. That's going to be an integer. We're also going to count the rows. And that'll also be an integer. We're going to declare um, the original worksheet here. Sheet 1. It's going to be OG. And then our workbook, we'll call it WB, the new workbook we're creating. And then we'll have a string variable named after our region. So we'll call it region. And that'll be a string. All right, so we can set OG equal to sheet one. And it's not to be confused with the name of the sheet. It's just actually referencing the sheet itself. So if I were to change this name here, let's change it to data. This wouldn't affect the code at all. You see it still says sheet one here. So I'm actually referencing the sheet and not the name of the sheet. So we can change the name to whatever we want and the code will still work. Okay. So then the region is gonna be equal to OG cells and we're going down to and over six F2, so down to over six, and we want um, the text in that cell. And then we're gonna set WB, the new workbook, equal to workbooks, work, books, add. And when we add the new workbook, what we're gonna do is name that sheet, the first sheet, and we'll actually reference the name. So the sheet one, we're going to rename it to the name of the region. So now we'll go back to this original sheet, we'll go back to OG, and we'll activate it. And then we'll count our columns and rows. So you want to count all the rows going down and then all the columns going over. So we'll need to use a worksheet function, count out. And then we're gonna be starting at range A4. So that's A4 and then A4. And for the columns we're going to the right, so we're gonna be using XL to right. I can just copy and paste this and just make sure I change the name to count row and then instead of XL to the right we're gonna be going XL down and make these consistent capitalize the A's okay so now with our active sheet we're gonna go ahead and filter the data so the filter is gonna be starting here 
an A4 and going across. So we auto filter. Yikes. All right. And then the fill we want is fill two. That's where the region is. So we do a colon and equal sign to fill two. And then criteria one is just going to be our region that we declared up here. So we're referencing this cell here. So it'll filter this data by whatever's in this cell. All right. So now we're going to copy data from OG to WB here. So with OG, I'm going to pick my range, which is going to be here, 4, 1. So down 4 over 1. And then we're going all the way down. So that'll be my row count. And then all the way over to the right. So that'll be my column count. And then I see myself running out of space on this line. So let me go ahead and continue it by doing using an underscore. And then I can say special cells. And then I'm going to select the visible. Excel type visible. And I'm going to copy all of the visible cells. So after we filter it, we only want to copy the visible cells that we see. So we'll copy those over. And then we're going to paste them to WB, to the new workbook. So we're going to reference WB and then that region sheet, the sheet we named after the region. And then we're just going to paste it starting in cell 11. And we'll do a paste special. And we'll just paste the values. All right. So now we can turn the copy cut mode off. So we'll set that equal to false. And now going back to the original tab, we're going to take the filter off and then show all the data. So it'll like we never touch anything. So we'll do show all data and then OG auto filter mode will be equal to false. All right, so now we can save and close the new workbook. So we're going back to the new workbook, WB. And we're going to save as, and I'm going to save it on my computer. I'm going to save it in this folder here. So this PC documents test, I can just right click this, copy address as text, and literally just paste it. So I use my um, quotation, paste, and then I can do another slash quotation. And then I'm running out of space. I'm going to continue it by doing an ampersand and an underscore. And then I'm going to name it the region. So the name of the actual file at this point is going to be region. So this would be, let's see, region ampersand. We'll put a space in between the ampersand, or sorry, a space in between the region. And then I'm going to use the date. So we'll do another ampersand and then format date. And the date is going to be in this format, month, month, day, day. Let's just, let's just do, yeah, I'll do month, month, day, day, and then year, 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 year. Okay. And then the extension will be um, dot .xlsx. Okay, and then we can just close the workbook. All right, so let's run it and see what it looks like now. 
Okay, so we, it, it worked. So we have the workbook. We can open it up. And you see it's got all the data here. Um, it looks kind of messed up. So what we're going to do, it doesn't, I mean, the data is not messed up. It's right. It's just the formatting is kind of ugly. So we can select this cell and like fix these columns a bit. So we can do that with our code. So we could just activate the new workbook here. And then we'll select the cells. And we'll select the cells and then entire column will auto fit. And then we'll just select cell A1 so that this cell be selected after the fact. All right, so let's try that again. Just delete that, run it again. All right, we open it. You see it say with the name and the date and it looks a lot better now. So a couple of issues. So say we want to say this again, right? We want the newest version saved. Unfortunately, it's going to access that. It's going to ask if we want to override or replace the existing file. So we can click yes and everything's fine, right? Or we could click no and we'll get an error. So to avoid this error, what you can do is on error, resume next. And then just to make sure this book here, this doesn't like lay in limbo or something, you can do when you're close when you close the book, you can just use save changes equals false. So what's going to happen is if the file gets saved, that's fine. It's going to save to that to that folder and then it'll close and then any new changes won't be saved. But if there's an error, it'll close and then the file won't be saved at all. So it, it works like this. So if I try it again and click no, everything's good. Another scenario we could do, so we could get rid of this so I can comment this out and I could do applications display alerts and I can turn the, the, the alerts off and what that does is it won't even ask me if I want to overwrite the data it just automatically overwrites the, the file with the newest file here so now it'll just go ahead and run smoothly without any interruptions at all you see that so we're good to go so I can keep running it and you see we're just saving them as you know as we go down the list, they're all being saved, they're being closed, and they're being formatted correctly, and then all the tabs have the correct name. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.